Welcome back. In the last episode, we talked about C Sharp, Microsoft's flagship programming language. We installed the Visual Studio IDE, and we created our first starter project. In this episode, we're going to create our first program in C Sharp. Now, don't worry, we're not going to create anything too complicated. All we're going to do is to give some instructions to print some words of our choosing in the console. Now we'll learn about our first C Sharp statement, and we'll also learn about the editor, how to view our output, as well as a little bit about how to keep track of what we're doing. Now don't worry too much about all of this, um, because as we progress, we'll cover all of those things and how they affect your program. So our first statement today is something called console.writeline. And I'm going to insert them in between these curly brackets of our main function. The main function is just the one that will run every time we run our program. Now, I'm going to type console. Dot, and let me just backtrack a bit. If I type console, you can see that there are so many other statements that use the word console. And this is just the way that the Visual Studio IDE helps you when you're coding. And it's a really great way to sort of show you other things just in case you need to know. Right, so let's type dot, and now you can see all these statements that can go along with console. Now, the one we're looking for is right line. It should be right at the bottom. Let's see, yeah, right line. And you can either double click on right line, and it will automatically put that statement there for you or that, you know, string there for you. Now, if you don't, you can also write the word right line. Just be sure to capitalize W and L because that's just the way that C sharp is written. Now, we'll also have to create a brackets, and what's in between those brackets will be what is shown on our screen. And at the end, we'll add a semicolon just to end off the statement. And in C sharp, we end off our statements with a semicolon. Now, I'm going to use the console.write line to write some text to the console. So you can see that that statement has console, and then we have what we want the console to do. We want it to write a line of text. And in between those brackets, we're going to put a set of quotation marks or parentheses, and in between those parentheses, we can put any text we want. So I'm going to put hello world because hello world is just a great, um, you know, traditional way to start your first program. Right. So anything between those parentheses will be printed to our console. Let's click start. And our program is building. Oh, but I don't see any code. I didn't see any console, and I didn't see Hello World anywhere, but we can see that our program has exited. So it's exited because our program has run, but it hasn't stopped. So well, let's go to debug, and then start without debugging. And by doing this, we'll be able to start our program and pause it at the end. I'll start mine up. Oh wait, mine's on a mine's on a different window. Let me just drag it over. Right, and you can see it says hello world and press any key to continue. So you can just click any key and it will take you back to your program. Now you can insert anything in those quotation marks like hi YouTube and it will show up when you click start without debugging, it will show up in your console. So, congratulations, you've just created your first program in C Sharp. Now, when we are writing programs, it's a good habit to sort of keep track of what we're doing. And we can do this by commenting on our code. A comment will be something that you'll be able to see, but the computer will not run. Now, let's use the to backslash characters and anything in that line after the backslash will be comments. This prints some text. Great. So now we can see this these this little bit of text in green 
um, we can see it and it's a great way to tell somebody else what our statement does. We can also use the backslash and the star or asterisk. Uh, sorry, just hold on a second. Yeah, backslash and the asterisks to comment out multiple lines. So if I just slot in a few asterisks or stars in between that, you can see it just comments out that entire section. And this is a great way to leave notes for other programmers who are reading our code. We can tell them what we're doing. Let's just, um, yeah, and that, that sort of helps with, with flow as well. I mean, it keeps track of things. So let's just select all of that and remove it. Now, let's say I wanted to comment out this console.write line. There's a button called comment out the section. And if you select your line and click comment out the section, you'll notice that that entire line is now a comment. The program will not run it. And this is great if you want to leave something out just because you want to test your program. You can also just select your line again and then uncomment the lines. And it, there we go. It's back to the way it was. And that's a really quick and easy way to sort of add comments. Now in the next installment, we'll be talking about variables and variable types. Congratulations for completing your first C-Sharp program.